Hello everyone. Today we'll stitch the blouse that we cut yesterday. I'll explain in detail how we'll go about it. This is a boat neck sleeveless blouse with lining. And in the next video, we'll be I'll be showing you how to do the side zipper. We start with joining the shoulders, back side of the fabric. Join the shoulders. After joining the shoulders of our main fabric, we join the shoulders of our lining as well, back side out. But here, just pay attention that this side where we are stitching the shoulders, this is not the marked one and uh, this lining is placed around the neckline neck of our base fabric main fabric and it is placed and pinned and the shoulders you can see how I spread the joints of the shoulders and the joints would be towards outside then we stitch around the neckline this is our boat neckline this is one of the simplest way how you can make neckline of any dress. You can watch this video and the cutting video and my other videos in Hindi as well in his teaching mall Hindi Urdu channel. You can subscribe to that so that you don't miss any notifications in the future. Once we stitch the neckline, we turn this lining inside. The finer side, the right side of the fabric of our blouse would be out and our neckline would look neat this way. Then we stitch, we make a top stitch around the neckline. Once we've done that, we will stitch the sides, the lining with the fabric. This is a long stitch, a running stitch that you can make just to join the lining with the main fabric. And this is a standard process we do so that while we are making the final dress a lining shouldn't be moving around so this is how we'll stitch the armholes and the sides of the lining with the main fabric this is a long running stitch we'll be stitching just around the edges This way our lining would be sticking to the main fabric. While you make any suit or any dress then also you follow this process. After doing this we make the darts. We made a small notch if you remember while cutting our lining and our blouse. So we'll fall from that notch. So we know the center point of our notch or our darts. And starting from the wider, we stitch till the narrower side of the dart. This is the armhole center dart, the side dart, which starts from the armhole. Then from bottom till the middle, 
I'm taking the darts too long. You can take them about half inch less than what I have shown if the purse size is heavier. Then we make the middle fish dart. This starts with a narrower end then getting wider in the middle and then again getting narrower on the other end. Same way we will be making all the darts on the other side of the panel of this blouse as well and this way we will repeat the same process the other side of the blouse. Then we make the darts on the back side of the blouse. We will hold the fabric and then from wider till narrower we will finish it where we end the blouse will be making two knots. Making darts is simple and it, it gives grace to your shape, your body. The dress looks very well fitted. Now we finish the armhole by using about 1 inch wide wire strip that we need to pull slightly around the armhole. If you want to see this process in detail, you can ask me in comment section and I'll send you the link that is available on Stitching Mall website. Once we have finished it, we'll turn this bias strip towards the inside and make a top stitch or you can do a hemming if you want to. It is a golden color blouse. And in ready-made made blouses, generally they make machine stitches. So machine stitch is in fashion nowadays. People like that. You can save your time by making a machine stitch. But if the fabric is too fine or you want a very graceful uh, dress, then hemming is always a better idea. We'll finish the other armhole the same way with a bias binding. Then I'm showing you a strap holder. This strap holder is useful in wider necks and in blouses or other dresses where your straps may be visible from the sides that may look vulgar and cheap. So to avoid that and being very conscious about your straps showing up, we stitch these straps on the shoulders of our dress so we make about uh, two inch or one and a half inch or two inch depending on the whiteness of your shoulder starting from the back side here we fold it and make a double stitch to keep it there if you want you could stitch it under the side joints as well which I'll show you in some other time if you stay subscribed you'll get the notification or uh, in your ready-made dresses or in dresses which do not have strap holders till now you can make a small one and a half inch long or two and a half inch long strap holder this way and then you'll be making stitching snap buttons on it both the sides will make same strap holders. This is how it will be done and then you can use dish buttons 
to put it in place and here you'll be putting your straps i hope you like this video do share your views in comment section do like share with your friends and stay subscribed do not miss any of the notifications take care i'll be back with the side zipper thing bye bye